away from the Premier League, next season our 20 teams are fixed. We know who's gone down and we now know who is going up. Luton won the playoff final. We've got Burnley who won the title and Sheffield United. He won the second place trophy. He won the second place trophy. That is correct. Because right, everyone right. gets a trophy for going up. Mm -hmm. So now we're just going to talk about who we think is going to do the best. How are the three teams going to do in the Prem next I season? I think everyone's going to be is going to be quite quick to write off Luton Town and, and just go, yeah, they're not going to, they're not cut out for the Premier League. But when you look at it right, mm. they've risen from the National League all the way to the Premier League. They, they've ri they've risen from non-league all the way up to the top now. To, to get that far, they've had a system of progression and they know what they're doing. They know how to stay in divisions and then get promoted from divisions quickly enough um, for them not to fall back down again. So I think Luton Town will stay up. You think I, I think it could go one or two ways with Luton Town. I think one way is um, they surprise everyone. They do a, a, a forest, stay yeah. up. They do a Wolves, Brentford. they Brentford. I mean, know. Wolves is something, Wolves, Wolves yeah, is something entirely else entirely. You know. They stay up and they, they look comfortable. I see them getting some shock, shock results I th across the season. I think I even, if they, even beating, if they go down, I think they get a few shock results. I, I can see them beating some, some big sides. I think season. one of our sides, at least one is of our sides, losing, is losing 1-0 yes, at 100%, Kenilworth Road next season. 100%. 100%. If we play them on the... I, I, I saw, as soon as they went up, I saw a 100 Arsenal fans tweet, um, I wonder who will randomly play Luton away on the first day on a Friday night. Who, who could guess going to be us but like but as I, as I was saying um, I think it could go one of two ways they could do really well and stay up or they finish bottom of the league and they just look mm. dreadful I don't think they're doing a derby I'm going to be honest I don't think they're doing a derby I, I it, 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 it takes effort to be that bad honestly I feel like we say every season there's going to be a derby there's, there's going to be a derby, there's gonna be a derby. I think we've now realised football has just progressed to the point where like you have to be you can't no one is 11 points bad no one's that bad when, when Brentford first came up because I, I think Luton Town are quite similar to Brentford mm. in the fact that their, their model is quite good and, and, they, and they know how to get through the division. And haven't been in, in the Premiership, really. Mm. When Brentford came up, I think in our predictions video, I predicted them to stay up quite co comfortably. And, and we I thought both, you two both said go down. Yeah. I, think you both I, I feel like first season, everyone said Brentford would go down. I didn't. I firmly did not. No, 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 what I'm trying to say is... fact check that. What, I swear to God. No, I, I, <laughs> I, I, really I, think, I think he did. He did I put them up. Stupidly high. He did, no, because he, like he did two predictions, which we laughed at. One was Wolves, Wolves, Wolves to go <laughs> down <laughs> and Brentford to go up. And they'd get pretty close. Yeah. And we were like, OK, Brentford we respect, but Wolves had an absolute howler. And then this season, you said you did the opposite. You said Wolves do really well. And they were actually flirting with relegation the entire season. But yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah, you've always been a big fan of Brentford. So, so I'm taking this model with Luton. I think they're going to stay up. But, but moving on, uh, gut feeling, Sheffield United going down and Burnley staying up. I think, yeah. I think Burnley, I've never been more sure of it. So the... Actually, no, Wolves was the most sure I've ever been of someone staying up. Wolves, I genuinely thought top 10 as soon as they got promoted because they had, like, Ruben Neves was, the, what, like, the captain of Porto mm -hmm. and yeah. was playing in the championship. I was like, yeah, they're, they're fine. And then with Burnley, with the setup they've got, like, if they get some of those loanies and make them permanent, which I think they can do, um, I don't know what's going to happen, like, with Howard Bayless, if he's going to stay at City or not. If they can make a few of those permanent, which I think they've got the power to do with company in charge, he's, you know, not gone to Tottenham, he's staying there, giving them that season. I I think they, they are safe. I don't think they're flirting with relegation at all. Yeah, I, th I think solid mid-table for Burnley yeah. next season. I'm thinking like one of those like sort of mid-table obscurity sort 12. of thing. Like, you know, like Palace. Palace just Chelsea. fade into the <laughs> <laughs> Palace just fade into the abyss. I think Bur Burnley will be a similar team. Yeah, and Burnley, get, a few, get a few good results. Burnley are our bogey team and have been for... For years, really. So um, is Vincent so Company doing the double? Bogey, bogey team, not yours. Trust they, me, they are not. They are not our bogey team. Yeah. We're their bogey team. The amount of last-minute winners we've got against them is actually criminal. I have actually watched us batter them in the Emirates. <laughs> exactly. So um, um, I, th I think I think they'll be fine. Like it, w it won't be anything spectacular, but yeah, I, I see them staying up. Mm -hmm. And I th I think that's sort of I th I feel like Burnley are a team that are like they're sort of like a oh they're in the prem. Well. That's nice, isn't it? Like, it's just yeah. they, they belong in the Premier League. They, they, like. they were there, they had such a long run, they d became part of the furniture. And I was annoyed, I didn't want them to go down last year. So to see them come back up the way they have, and also to see them go up in a completely different way, they've gone down and gone, right, we are changing everything at the club. Mm -hmm. they've right. got I'm going to save you quickly, you're going to annoy yourself. Your hair is doing a madness, and you're going to get really annoyed when you're Oh, thank Christ. Um, 
But I've, I've got a question. That's Thank you. Yeah. That's um, fine then. <laughs> it's, it's been there for five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did you boys think of, because th- these sides, I mean, Sheffield United haven't been in the, well, that they were recently in the Premier League. Burnley haven't been in the Premier League for a few years. Luton have never been in the Premier League. What did everyone think? Because when they, it got announced who was definitely going up, all the 20 teams, there was this picture floating around Twitter. And everyone was going, oh, God, that looks like an awful Premier League season. And there's all the teams and stuff in it. Did you see this? Yeah. But, but people just kind of not that fussed that Luton are in it and things like that. It looks I, rubbish. I like, rubbish it. I like it. The Premier League shouldn't be the same teams going yeah. up, the same teams going down. Who cares that Norwich didn't go up? <laughs> Guess what? They didn't go up. They don't deserve to be there. And exactly. I always want, every year, at least one new team who hasn't been in the Prem or hasn't been in the Prem in a while. Mm-hmm. And when I saw the playoff final, I thought, brilliant. Coventry or Luton. Coventry, I think, were in the Premier League until like the early until the late nineties. Luton, I, I, they have been in the top division. I don't know if they were in the Premier League. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, neither have been in the top division for ages, near enough over twenty years at least for both sides, and that have been so good for the league. And both stories were great, and that's why I wanted Forest to go up last year, you know. And I was so glad they finally did it. And you know, Sheffield United when they went up, they hadn't been in the Prem for the best part of sixteen years. And we do want that. It's rejuvenating. It's like new teams, new stories, new cultures, you know, new grounds. Yeah, I was going to mention that. With Luton, um, oh, don't, no one really knows oh, what's don't, happening oh, with don't. their stadium. Well, they thought, need to invest about 10 I, million. Yeah. I thought you were going to say the classic Twitter going, oh my God, this is their away end. Have you seen it? No, <laughs> but like, honestly, um, so I know, I know they have to invest a lot of money into it um, if they can use it. The, I think the backup option is playing at Stadium MK. Um, well, you're local. I, I think either way, I'm going to try and Go. do Luton away. Well, you're not too far, are you? So Yeah, no, I, I, I think either way, I'm going to try Luton away next season. Because I, th- I, I think that's sort of a bucket list thing. If Luton stay in their stadium that they have right now, I think it's sort of a bucket list thing, like a football bucket list to yeah, yeah. go do loot in a way because of how I think iconic it's become. I mean, how many how many seats are available, Jordan? <laughs> Four. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing: it's getting all this crap as a stadium from the Premier League, but we never got this when Bournemouth went up, did we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't but, think that's I don't think that's particularly. I mean, it's a better stadium. It is yeah. a much better stadium. It's than a smaller, but a bit more modern stadium, isn't it? Yeah. I guess there's more infrastructure. Yeah. I guess that's the point. Um, yeah, exactly. But you haven't got to walk past. But like Jackie next door. To <laughs> Look, yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure they'll develop it and make it better, but you know, I think they'd want to keep it a bit the same because that's what kind of makes it a tougher place to go when you have grounds like that. Like, I love grounds like that that stay a little bit small, like have a small pitch, like Loftus Road, yeah. like or, or, or whatever it's called. No, Stafford Bridge, <laughs> tiny. Uh, <laughs> it is actually a relatively small pitch. I, I think the ground could come into a massive effect with, with Luton because if they don't play there, yeah, if they don't play there, I think they go. I think, I think they go down, yeah. I genuinely think they go I down. I think Forest, a massive part of their season was their home form. And if and Forest, by all means, with the way they played the season, the football they were playing, I've looked at the stats and like expected points had them bottom, but they finished 16th. And part a massive part of that is just good home results. Well, you if, look at Sheffield United when they stayed up the yeah, time before. Barely yeah, barely anyone got, got a win at Bremel Lane. Yeah, I, think, exactly. I think City scraped past them, I think, but most top six sides failed at Bremel Lane. It was very similar to the way Brentford came up. And... I think the teams, I, I'm so convinced about Burnley, there's no conversation about Burnley, we're all like, we are all thinking they're safe, safe. Not even, they won't even be in the conversation for relegation. I think the other two will be in the conversation for relegation, but I don't think neither are set dead bottom. I don't think neither are definitely going down. No, uh, and I think, to. I'll be honest, with the teams going up, I think Luton, because it's their first season in a while in the Prem, they're going to they're gonna give it a go. They are going to try and do whatever they can to stay up. They know, they know realistically, that's what they've got to do. We haven't really talked about Sheffield United. Yeah, because though. we don't really know much about them. For I, being think, I think Sheffield United Paul, are going... You've got Paul I'm, Heckenbottom in, in charge. You got, they've I, changed a few players around. I think out of the three, Sheffield United are most dead on to go straight back down. Okay. Without question. I mean, I think because Sheffield United finished second, they had a quite good season points-wise. I don't know if they'll want to make that many signings. And historically... As the playoff winners, I think Luton are going to spend a load of cash. But um, I, I think I think Sheffield United are pretty. I would say right now are pretty nailed on to go down. I mean, that's your opinion. I mean, I think I'll be honest. I do see them the most likely to go down because um, uh, Luton. There's almost because they've done the playoff because they've done it that way. It's such an uplifting thing to do, yeah. and the the influx of money, and that they probably. And the thing is. 
it, it's actually they did actually finish third. Like, they, they didn't finish sixth from win playoffs. They won. They did outright finish third. Mm -hmm. And if you watch the final, they were the better side. And it's going to be interesting to see how they do. But I think with Sheffield United, I think we know the least about them because there's no real story. With Burnley, it's a massive culture change. They win the title. With Luton, it's the progression from non-league. And with Sheffield United, just, they've been in the championship for a few years. They lost the playoffs. The playoffs last year. Finished second. You know. Yeah. I just I'm I think I I quite like Bramall Lane. I, I like it. It's a good ground. Nice, but I I just think no. It's. I mean, it's, I'd like all of they'll, them. They'll go down. I think. I want every year. I want the newly promoted to stay up. I view it as recycling. Just like yeah, let's just keep the cycle going. Let's just. And I'll be honest. I'm sick to death of the last two years of Everton staying up. I just I want them to go down. That's so one, that's one out of three. Uh, who, okay. You've got to fill the other two spaces. If you okay, let's Sheffield fill the United other two right now before we, change, before we change on to the debate. What are the other two teams? We've got, we all want Everton to go down, let's be honest. Everton, down. Uh, I, I, I think, I, I'll be honest, I think Forrest are down next season. Okay, right. Potentially, potentially. I think Forrest are down next season. And uh, who else? Let's have a look. They finished 15th. Oh, Bournemouth still, still in the league. Um, I shock, like, shock Crystal Palace relegations. <laughs> no, they've got two good players. They've got I, two I good think, players. I think the, the competition will be a little bit too much for Sheffield United this year. Okay, we'll I think I don't think. Yeah, I don't think all three are staying up. I yes. think I think I think the teams that are in the league. I do think. Oh, I don't think. I, I think only one of them goes down. I don't know. Promoted. One or two. And we're saying Sheffield. Sheffield. Yeah. Then Everton. Then Forest. Yeah, Forest. I think Forest is going down next season. But look, we'll, we'll do our prediction. I think Forrest our full Forrest. prediction video pretty much as soon before the first game as possible. That's what we did last time. Yeah. And yeah, obviously, I think last year was a bit biased because we couldn't get, like United hadn't even signed Casemiro or anything. Yeah. So if you had, I would have probably put you fourth. But <laughs> I mean, if, you if, say I find out all, if I found about uh, all if of Chelsea signings, they wouldn't have come second. They would have come first. <laughs> yeah.